I should like to try something a little different tonight. Pardon me, miss. You failed to collect your clothes. Yes, of course. Are you looking stare so deep in your eyes? Are you touching you more and more every time? When you leave, I'm begging you not to go. Call your name two, three times in a row. Such a funny thing for Pen. me to try to Why are you so soon? Especially in such a charming dress. Do not mock me, please. Mock you? I miss you. You miss me. You miss me, but you would never caught me, is that correct? It pains me to see you upset. Then perhaps you should not have come. I'm not the man I was last season. And I'm most certainly not ashamed of you, Pen. The opposite is true. In fact, I seek you out at every social assembly because I know you will lift my spirits and make me see the world in ways I could not have imagined. You're clever and warm and... I am proud to call you my very good friend. It is rather unseemly that Miss Featherington took his help. Yes, it will. I think. Talk to my friend so Wait, Miss. You have a visitor. Glad to see how you were. Can I ask you something? Of course. But I still don't understand just how you do you can do what no one else can. I've not been able to sleep. I've been able to eat. I I, I can barely speak these days. My entire thoughts consumed by what? By our kids. What if I did have feelings for you? What? These past few weeks have been full of confounding feelings. Feelings like a total inability to stop thinking about you. About that kiss. Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep and in fact preferring sleep because that is where I might find you. A feeling that is like torture, but one which I cannot, will not, do not want to give up. You coming with me? What? For God's sake, Penelope Featherington, are you going to marry me or not? 